What's up, guys? Uh, this is Frank. Welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. Uh, sending email using Mailgun API with Python from a custom domain. Yeah. Uh, there are a bunch of reasons that you want to send emails from a custom domain. Let's say you're running a e-commerce company. You want to send uh, marketing emails to your customers and uh, run your campaigns and tell them you're launching a new product. Yeah. All these things uh, you may want to communicate under your own domain yeah so that's the reason why uh, you need to send emails from a custom domain yeah so without any further ado let's get started so first thing we're gonna do is we go to mailgun.com and we are gonna sign up for an account and the sign up process is pretty straightforward it's gonna take one minute uh, but, but the mailgun requires you to submit credit card information because they do not want to be spammed. They want you to be a real human. That's why they uh, require you to have a credit card. Yeah, but it's not a big deal. Okay, I already signed up for account and uh, I was I already also logged in. And another thing is I want you to pay attention to is uh, go to domains. And before sending any email, you need to add your domain. So that's the first thing. So I'm going to add a domain, I'm going to say tutorial, tutorial.frank, uh, frankdo.co, yeah, that's my own domain. I'm going to say add domain. After adding domain, uh, Mailgun is going to tell you how to verify your ownership of that domain. Yeah, for example, you have to go to your DNS provider and uh, providing the uh, DNS records for your domain, yeah, then you are verified. So anyway, I already verified. If you can follow steps, you will be just fine. <clears throat> I already verified domain previously. Here, I previously I s verified my subdomain under bot.frankdo.co. Yeah. So today we're gonna use this domain for tutorial. Yeah. So I'm going to use, uh, first of all, we're going to click the subdomain after verifying and uh, there are a bunch of uh, credentials here. Uh, these are highly, highly uh, confidential information. You shouldn't display uh, any of this information to any audience. But, but I'm doing this because I'm doing tutorial, it's fine. I'm going to modify the API key later so you guys, you guys won't be able to use it anyway. So, okay, anyway. Okay, now let's proceed to live coding today. Okay, so for coding reasons, I'm gonna use uh, Jupyter Notebook. So you can use whatever IDE or text editor you want. I'm gonna use Jupyter, okay? The first thing we're gonna use is uh, we're gonna need requests. So if you don't, if you don't have requests uh, installed, you're gonna install requests first. I'm gonna go to terminal. So pip install requests. Okay, because I already have it, so I'm gonna just go ahead. So only thing you need is uh, import requests. Requests. Okay, good. And then by sending email, we're using a simple requests post. Okay, so we're gonna say requests dot post. And there are a bunch of parameters here. First is your base URL, is your API base URL. Then you need your auth. It, that's a tuple, so you're gonna say API and your API key, and and then you're gonna say data. Data is the there are a bunch of uh, important information that you wanna include in your email. For example, from to subject to text or whatever reason. So here I'm gonna just go ahead and say uh, from from just say from my email frank at frankdo.co and I'd say to 
Two, there's a, it's a list, so we're passing a list or someone, someone at example.com. It's a, it's a string here. So remember, it's a string. Okay, good. And two, the next thing is we need to say subject. Subject, we're going to say testing some awesomeness of awesomeness of Melgon and the text text is actually the contents of your body text in the email so we can say Melgon test on the first day of 2019 okay good and now there are other things left so we we haven't filled in the API-based URL. We haven't got our API keys here. So uh, in the next couple of minutes, we're going to show you uh, show you guys how to get the API key and the finally sending an email. So let's go back to the uh, dashboard of Mailgun. So we're sending the email from this subdomain here. We we'll just click the subdomain. Now we're going to have the some credentials here. So what you want to do is you want to copy the API base URL and paste it here. And remember, you will need to add a message messages uh, in the end of that API base URL. Also, you need your API key. So you will need to copy your API keys here and paste in your code. Okay, good. So now we're having everything. So we import requests. We have we use requests to send a post request, and we have API based URL filled in, and we have auth authentication. That is, we also have the data that we want to include in the email. So from from basically is the message from where it is sent from, and to it, where it is sent to, right? And the subject. You want to include for email and the text content, which is body text of your email. And now let's finally send an email. So for this reason, I'm gonna use a, a fake email address. So I'm just gonna do a quick Google search. Say fake email. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna send an email to this address. Uh, just to show you guys it's, it's wor it works okay so after sending the email the email content will be showing here so as you can see uh, I already sent an email previously here so I'm gonna send an email again so I'm gonna copy the email address here and I copy it here okay now we have everything so just run this okay it says response 200 which means it's verified if the request was successful and the email it should be uh, successfully sent. Let's to verify if it's sent. Okay, see, testing some awesomeness. So we received our email. Okay. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, this video is very uh, useful. And uh, this is the first time I've done a tutorial uh, in YouTube. I'm kind of nervous, and uh, uh, hopefully, my video quality is going to be improving in the future. Uh, also, if you have any criticism, suggestions, or whatever, you can leave your comments down below. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, Happy New Year, the first day of 2019. Okay. Peace. Bye.